Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Have a beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for in tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? I, I, I got too much sauce, that's why it be dripping on. Oh. How much? Uh, how much do you pay attention to the uh, replenishment levels that uh, Amazon shows in their inventory planner? Pretty much zero percent attention. <laughs> okay. Be only because they they have no idea what the competition on the listing looks like or the price that you're paying for it. So they're just saying, hey, in the last 30 days you sold 360, you should buy 600. But they have no idea that your distributor went up two dollars in price and that there's 14 more sellers on the listing. Okay, thank you, Eric. Quick question: Don't you look at the Keepa chart, like where it says, like you know, where it tells you about the average price, like at the statistics? You don't look at that when you make a determination. Nah, not for this listing. Only because all the information's right here, very consistent. I just took the lowest, the lowest possible <laughs> price in almost the last year, which is 1320, and when I plug that in here. You know, based on our $6 item cost, the worst case scenario, I was making 52 cents. So I don't really want right. to, I don't need to see the average. It's just like worst case scenario, I'm making 52 cents on buying this product. Okay, so I guess that's, that's the way you do it. You just kind of look at what's the worst possible and just not, you don't care about the average. Worst case scenario. Is Listen, if this chart was all over the place, absolutely, I'd look at averages. Okay. You know, absolutely, absolutely a checkout average. I have an ace on that's a really good seller. And uh, I got it on, on a line drive. I think it was like 30% yeah. off. And, um, you know, as soon as I bought it, I noticed like 15 other sellers came on and dropped the price. Do uh -huh. you think you think that would level out like once kind of like the line drive inventory sells out? Yeah, I'm most really sure likely. What to do with the yeah. yeah. So if I sit on it for a few months, I should be okay. I can't guarantee anything, but most likely, yeah, they will sell out, and then the price will go back up. Especially just because consumer goods are going up in general. So absolutely, that's what I would be doing. I'd be holding off. Oh, I'll hold off then. Yeah. Carlos just said this. Carlos, what are we paying for it? Four thirty-three for two All pack. Right. So the two pack barriers on the variation is the the highest seller. as far as percentage wise on the keeper okay and what what are you paying for the two pack it's 433 for two or for one unit for the for the unit of for the unit of two yeah. it's 866 yeah so originally i it popped up on canon limited the six pack popped up which only makes up like one percent of that of those sales which you know wouldn't be terrible but Carlos it's 866 or 433 433 the, the two pack the two pack Yay. itself is 433 okay verified that today all right what my question is when you look at the current sellers they're all FBM right yeah right one now I'm wondering I'm in the hazmat program and I go to list this next highest price would be you know 1478 so at 1478, you know, you're looking at, you know, a little over three dollars and like 23%. Now that's just me hoping that because I'm FBA, that I would win the buy box. Yeah. Because I don't see at the moment Amazon. There is no buy box. Yeah, Even being no FBA, you don't think it would trigger a buy box? No, I think Amazon's been selling it for 597, so it's retails for 597. So unless you sell it for 597 or less, the buy box is going to be suppressed. Uh, okay, but it's still getting the sales even with no buy box, right? Oh, they just got off of it. That's why. Literally just got off. Yeah, I would stay far away from this listing. Okay. Because Amazon, they jump back in at five ninety. I've been so stuck on the year, the year to maybe three months. I didn't even click on the most recent. Yeah, sometimes I like to just. When I'm on this this uh, year chart, I'll just like to get the last you know month or so, and boom. Gotcha. 
check it out like that. So we got the St. Ives. We're paying a dollar eighty for this bad boy. So I'll throw in dollar eighty there. We got four sixty two left. So far, everything checks out. Rank is reasonable. Sales are reasonable. Profit is phenomenal. Now I got to dive down into that keep it chart. See why profit's so good. Why am I making four sixty two on a product that I'm only spending a dollar eighty four? Is it just uh, the perfect product? I don't know. Let's look at the keep a chart. So slamming back here a couple months, looks like it's very consistent at $8.99. But keep in mind, this is a product in what category? This is a product in beauty and personal care. So if it's listed $10 or less, you're actually getting an 8% referral fee instead of a 15% referral fee. So there's some cost savings there. Plus you can enroll it in small and light. Yes, absolutely. Um, so first thing I wanna do here, so I want to just check 885. All right, worst case scenario, it goes back to 885. Am I making any money on this? I'm actually making a dollar, worst case scenario. Back to 885. Um, and then quick glance uh, over. You should, uh, you should calculate the S1 and light. Yeah, click on that calculator right there. There we go, it's dollar 89. Dollar 89? Yeah, dollar 89. That's fire. All right, dollar 89. Uh, but right now it's listed at 13.83. Um, so what I would do, right? I definitely cop this listing, 100%. Uh, take a quick look at at the competition, which doesn't look like there's much. Uh, let's see, we got four FBA sellers. Let's just take a quick look at their inventory. All right, they got a couple months altogether. If you add it up of inventory, probably two months or actually three months. Uh, based on the current expectations of this listing. But keep in mind that the rank is higher and the estimated sales are lower because right now it's listed much higher than really what the sweet spot is. You know, the sweet spot's right around $10 for this listing. So I would purchase this listing. I would set my ceiling at $10, right? And then boom we'd be making where is it 295 on this listing or 206 if you don't want to do it small and light right so like this product i'm all over and because right now all these sellers really have no idea what they're doing and they're listed at 1383 which i could see why but at the end of the day uh, we're value guys i rather blow this out the water purchase 120 of them you know and 206 then try to piecemeal them out at let's say $12.99 at a little slower, making $3.90 and sell maybe a third of what I could sell at the better price point because customers just seem to really like it at this price. When it goes up, they don't like it as much. Hey, uh, I have a listing that's in that same exact situation. Uh huh. Where everybody's selling it for like 12 bucks, but it, you know, you can roll in small and light and make like an extra 20 cents a unit. Uh huh. Um, and, and you know it sells like maybe five thousand units a month, and there's some pretty, pretty big sellers on there with a lot of units. Um, and I'm afraid if I do that, they're just gonna you know tank the pricing. Like, you think I should just enroll it small and light and sell it out, or what would you do in that scenario? Yeah, if you think they're gonna take the pricing, it's better to make money on it than than hold off to potentially not make any. You know? Yeah, I so just didn't want to ruin the listing because I did that on accident one time. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely ruin a listing. Um, but like, what price point is it listed at now? Uh, right now, it's like eleven um, seventy. Yeah. yeah, so it's got you got to take it a small and light, man. Yeah, especially is it a is it a health and personal care product or health and uh, beauty? yeah health and household yeah Be beauty and personal care uh, health health and household yeah um, I, don't, I don't think health and household has an eight percent discount. I think it's just for beauty and personal care. Yeah, I think it just qualifies for a small and light. Yeah, just small and light, but absolutely. All right, cool. Thanks. So, Eric, hey, for, yeah. for clarity here, would then would you and your repricer just set your max price at the nine ninety nine? Make yeah, sure stays in that. Yeah, I'd put it at the ten bucks or the nine ninety nine. Absolutely. So make sure it never goes above that. The ten dollars, ten dollars qualifies, right? Yes. Ten dollars or less. I just want to make sure you, he said nine ninety nine. I'm like, I think all of mine are. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, nine ninety nine definitely looks better. 
Uh, but you know, hundreds of thousands of pennies, they kind of add up a little bit as well. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Bye. All right. All right. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see you at the top. Good night, night. everyone. Hey, lit.